Percy and the Trousers. On cold mornings, Percy often saw workmen wearing scarves. My funnel's cold! My funnel's cold! I want a scarf! I want a scarf! Rubbish, Percy! Engines don't want scarves! Engines with proper funnels do! You've only got a small one! Henry snorted. He was proud of his short, neat funnel. Just then a train came in and Percy went to take the coaches to their siding. I want a scarf! I want a scarf! Percy's driver always shut off steam just outside the station, and Percy would try to surprise the coaches by coming in as quietly as he could. Two boarders were taking some luggage across the line. They had a big load and were walking backwards to see that nothing fell off the trolley. Percy arrived so quietly that the porters didn't hear him until the trolley was on the line. The porters jumped clear and the trolley disappeared with a crunch. Boxes and bags burst in all directions. Oh. <sighs> Sticky streams of red and yellow jam trickled down his face. A top hat hung on his lamp iron. Clothes, hats, boots, shoes, skirts and blouses stuck to his front. Worst of all, a pair of striped trousers coiled lovingly round his funnel. They were gray no longer. Angry passengers looked at their broken trunks. The fat controller seized the top hat. Mine! Percy, look at this! Y yes sir, I, I am sir. My best trousers too! Y yes sir, please sir. I am very cross. We must pay the passengers for their spoiled clothes. My hat is dented and my trousers are ruined. All because you will come into the station as if you were playing grandmother's steps with the coaches. The driver unwound the trousers, but the fat controller waved them away. Oh no! Percy wanted a scarf, so he shall have my trousers for a scarf. They will keep him warm. Percy wore them back to the yard. He doesn't like scarves now.